we've known a couple of details about the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus Lite. We know there's gonna be four colors, black, green, silver, and pink. And we've seen the black model in previous renders. Now we have a new HD render, courtesy of Evan Blass, showing the tablet in pink, alongside its protective case and the S Pen. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more tech videos. Evan Blass leaked a couple of HD renders of the Tab S7 Plus Lite, and it shows the tablet in its rose gold protective case, the S Pen that's expected to come with it, and the magnetic connector for the S Pen on the back. The tablet has fairly thin bezels, a selfie camera positioned for landscape mode, dual main cameras, two stereo speakers tuned by AKG, and a USB-C port. He also showed different colors for the protective case, and there's gonna be five colors. Black, blue, gray, green, and pink. The protective cover is designed with two S Pen holsters, one on the back with the magnetic connector and one on the front hidden inside the hinge. The tablet is going to be powered by the Snapdragon 750G chipset paired with 4GB of RAM. And it's going to feature a 12.4 inch display like the Tab S7 Plus. And it makes sense since this is the Tab S7 Plus Lite and there is no smaller Tab S7 Lite. I think the Tab A7 Lite already fulfills the role of a smaller Tab S7 Lite light. Also in the news, we previously saw leaked images of both the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3, but they weren't of the best quality. Thanks to the guys at Let's Go Digital, we now have a much better view of Samsung's upcoming foldable flip phone. Also, Samsung recently announced the Galaxy Quantum 2 in South Korea, and it's said to be the Korean version of the Galaxy A82. And Samsung has just confirmed that by listing the A82 on its website. The name Galaxy A82 5G was mentioned on one of Samsung's website that puts it under a quarterly software update schedule. It also means that Samsung will soon launch the A82 to the rest of the world, and we can expect it to be very similar to the Galaxy Quantum 2 that was launched in South Korea, with the only difference being that it won't have the Quantum chip for extra security. Anyway, that's all for me in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.